and a pandemic won't stop some people from setting off illegal fireworks on New Year's Eve. And the decision tonight to keep San Francisco locked down indefinitely. ABC 7 News begins in 60 seconds. Well, no sanctioned fireworks this year, but plenty of the unsanctioned kind. Why local officials in the East Bay say they're bracing for an increase in illegal fireworks complaints. It's New Year's Eve, and while there may not be in-person parties, I'm at a secret virtual party in San Francisco. One of a few things actually happening. My story next. A few hours of dry weather just starting to be here, and then rain, rain, rain. I'll have the forecast. ABC 7 News at 11 starts now. Building a better Bay Area for a safe and secure future. This is ABC 7 News. Tonight, a New Year's Eve like no other in New York City. Last year, more than a million people packed Times Square. Tonight, the celebration was only open to a small number of frontline workers because of the pandemic. In less than 60 minutes now, the Bay Area will ring in the new year. Here's a live look outside from our KGO roof camera along the Embarcadero. Usually, of course, we'd see crowds packed along the waterfront, but this year's fireworks show has been canceled. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone joins us live from the Embarcadero. And J.R., tonight's celebrations look very different this year. Well, they certainly do, Ama. Usually we'd be hearing the fireworks and seeing the fireworks. Not the case tonight. Pretty quiet out there. Uh, empty streets as well. But it is not all doom and gloom. 2020 for just a little while longer, and you're about to see there is some excitement out there in the city. Darkness over.